Hey guys, and welcome back to the Creative Minecraft build. Last time we did Santa's Sledge, and uh, some of you guys thought it looked like it, some of you guys thought it didn't. So what I'm going to do, um, coming up to Christmas, I'm going to do some proper um, Christmas theme builds. So don't you worry about that, we're going to redo the Santa Sledge. You know, it does look like it, it looks like a sledge, but we're going to make it more traditional. And uh, I've already got some designs planned for that. Okay, so today we're going to make a fire truck. And I've kind of already made one here. But this is going to be a tutorial on how to do it. As you can see, this is looking pretty smexy right now. So, let's grab some materials off here, of course. And we want to get the iron blocks. Okay, so first of all, um, I've done some redstone on here too. But some of the redstone blocks you can't use because you can't put some items on them but I'll, I'll explain as we do this okay first of all you want to get the iron blocks and you want to go up off the ground like this and you want to go about five so you got these three in the center here okay and then you want to go one two three one two three so you got this sort of shape like so then you want to put buttons along here and one here pretty simple huh pretty simple then you want to get the redstone blocks and you want to make a frame around it. Not over the top though, not yet, just on the side like that. Okay, so let's start building out. We need to make the wheel arches, so let's go out one and then here. So we start like so. And then the same here, out one, like so. And then you want to go two across the top. And then you want to mimic the angle just like so. Pretty simple, you can follow along with that. And then the same here, and then like so. So we've got this. Perfect. You've got two different types of materials you can use for the uh, for the tires. I think the coal block works very well, and this goes for the same in vanilla Minecraft texture pack too, which I will show you at the end of the video, of course. Okay, pretty simple. Next thing you want to do is get some quartz blocks. You can use snow if you want to build this in a legitimate world, of course. And you want to go free. Then you want to do the wheel arch one small. I wonder how fast I can build this. Like speed building in Minecraft. And then you want to mimic the arch. The tire needs to be two by two, of course. Pretty simple. Okay, so in standard Minecraft, you could probably fill the inside here with dirt, but because we're kind of in creative and very rich right now, we'll fill this all the way across like so. Next thing you want to do is pull the redstone across here and frame it like so. Whoops. This one does not need to be here or this one. That's just there to pull the shape across like so. As you can see, we've got this now. I'm going to fill that in here and fill that in. So we've got a nice space along here. Let's get rid of this uh, iron sword. We don't need this. Let's get rid of the lead. Okay, the fences need to come all the way along here. They need to go about four. One, two, three, four. Then we've got the iron bars. They need to go one, two, three. And you could, you can go like four or three. So we'll we'll just go with four for now. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, so we want to fill this inside with quartz now. Perfect. So it comes right up to the edge like so. Time. Whoops. Time set zero. So that's looking pretty nice. Okay, so now we want to work on the actual ladder. Or sometimes they have hoses on this too. So we want to start here and go straight across, like so. You don't come to the edge of this block here. Well, at least not yet, anyway. Let's get rid of this door. We want to get some tracks. We want to get some ladders. <clears throat> the ladders need to go on the side of this, like here. Um, you can use any type of track you want, actually. Um, I'm going to go with activator rail. Um, you can use standard rail for this if you're doing it legit and you can't quite afford the expenditure in your world. That's totally fine. That's totally up to you, of course. Okay, you want to bring this frame along here. Like so. And then what we want to do is do the tank for the water. The tank for the water is right by here, of course. Cool, huh? Very nice. And then on top, you want to put redstone blocks. 
and then redstone blocks. So it comes to the line here. It doesn't matter if you're following this perfectly or not. The idea of this is that you get the, the fundamentals of the design and obviously take it to another level yourself. Okay, next thing we want to do is get some pistons. And because we got redstone already here, they should extend. They want to extend upwards, 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 like so. That looks like a really nice support here. You want to get the quartz again, and then you want to do one, two, three, like so. And then you want to go one, two, three, four, and then pull it out here. Whoops. That was the worst block placement ever. So we've got this really nice, nice bulky section at the back. Then you want to get the red wool, of course, and then you want to start filling in the same dimensions as this. So start pulling this down. <clears throat> you can fill the floor in as well. It's totally up to you, of course. Then you want to come four. One, two, three, four. Like so. So where will the door go? The door would go right by here, of course. So this is where the floor is going to be. Um, it doesn't have to be this low, of course. You can you can fill it in like so. You've got enough wall to do so. Uh, let's do it once more. So let's pull it all the way out here. Okay, let's do a quick recap of the design now. Let's pull this one out here. A good way to uh, keep an eye on this design is to look at the wheel arches and get a reference for it. So you've got the wheel arch here, and then you've got the redstone by here, and then you've got the, the wheel arch here, and then we've got the wall by here. So it's kind of inset, and then the tank is even more inset into... Um, it's kind of hard for me to explain the design process of this, but if I try not to get too far ahead, I think you guys can... You guys can understand. Okay. Whoops. There we go. So we've got a nice stripe along here too. Door is going to go there, obviously. So let's go and grab ourselves a door. Yoink! And let's grab ourselves some buttons. There are two different ways of doing the wheels. You can either just put buttons straight on them, like so. Which is quite nice. Or if we grab ourselves an item frame. One of these bad boys. And do this. If you place the button not inside the item frame, but just on the block, it puts it inside the item frame. Like so. And it gives you a really nice... Uh, very nice bling feel going on here. You can use record discs. Um, there's so many other items you can use to enhance the, the, the tire design here. Let's just do it on the other side while we're at it too. One, two, three, four. And then place it on the blocks. <clears throat> you can use other blocks too. It's, there's so many, so many different combinations and different ways of doing tires here. One, two, three, four. Pretty awesome. You can put buttons on here. And then go around the back, around the side, put buttons on here also. Uh, another good thing is to get hooks. So get yourself some trap hooks like this. This I don't actually have any trapped hooks, any hook wire traps actually on that over there, but you can do them here. Uh, maybe you want to put some just on here too, underneath the levers, I mean the pistons, <laughs> or whatever. So very nice. So the next thing to do is to work on the cab design. So what we're going to do is pull this out. This is where the roof would be. No, it will not. The roof would be by here. Um, imagine if there's a door going to be right by here. The roof needs to be like literally right by there for the headroom. I do apologize for that very noobish mistake just then. Let's pull the roof over. Okay, so we have flashing lights on top of these bad boys. <clears throat> so we want to get a redstone block here. And we'll put one here and one here. Let's just finish this. Very nice. And flashing lights can be done in so many different ways. On here, you can see that I put redstone torches onto these redstone blocks. But they just come to me. If I got these item frames, I can do this. And I think that looks a lot nicer, actually. And I can do that. And maybe I can do this. So we've got the lights on top. Very nice. Let's go and get ourselves some glass so we can do some windows. 
the front here I've got free wide window you can you can have um, how can I put it you can like have a window like like that if you wish so you've got one here and one here and then you've got the space in between but I'm gonna go with this pull all the way forwards like so uh, we've got a window here which is quite nice too and then we want to get some stairs and we want to put these upside down on top of the glass like so let's place that like there that's looking pretty nice pretty nice maybe we can let's grab some more glass let's duplicate that window on this side here too something i haven't done on that fire truck where you know you can have it different every time and then obviously what else can we do here and we want to put the red wool underneath here but as you can see that's very flat right now very flat and uh, not much detail going on there so we want to change that soon push that in and pull out a bit of red I mean a bit of white here so we've got this stripe coming along here too that kind of helps out an awful awful lot next thing we want to do is grab ourselves a ladder and then get yourself some snowballs okay cool so this is where the grill's gonna go this is really high off the ground too is higher than that went off the ground I kind of like it though I like it and then on each side of the ladder put an item frame and put a snowball in it so you've got this circular design looks really nice very nice indeed well done juicy pixel Let's pull this out a bit more let's go back that is really chunky. I like it better than the first one. Well done to me. <laughs> okay, so lights. On the back always always have red lights. So you want to put an item frame, item frame. You could put a redstone block in here, but we've used redstone as a background block. So we're going to put a redstone torch in here like so. Um, if you're good at redstone, you can obviously make um, uh, make them flash as well. I noticed Kralis did police cars recently and they flashed. Okay, so you want to put window... You want to put... Um, bars just in front by here or maybe you can put them further back like so and what that will do it'll give you like windscreen um, windows windscreen windows no that makes no sense at all it will give you this is where the mirrors are you understand what I'm on about like when you turn in you want to make sure that there's nothing around the corner and stuff like that okay so we want to make some improvements on the design now <clears throat> so let's go and grab this we want to put that like so. It looks like a nice support. Um, let's go on inside here if I can. I think it's probably a good idea to fill this in like so. Like so. Um, yeah, we can fill the floor in. Just fill the floor in like so. And then we want to get ourselves a nice seat. Uh, let's go with the jungle planks. They look not too bad in this texture pack. And then we want to get a steering wheel. Um, so we'll do that in just a moment. Let's put the seat by here and then we want something for this guy to like steer this So we want to get like this. Sorry if you can hear road works in the background. Let me just shut my window oh. <clears throat> Every time I record there's always some, something interrupting. Okay, there's two we well, uh, there's two ways of doing a steering wheel my way my favorite way is to do that so it looks more it looks more like handles on there, but some people, let's just put that there, let's put a trap hook here, so it looks interesting. Another one here. Some people put record discs in there, which also works. Okay, let's get some trap doors. I want to get a chest too, something I never did on that design. Okay, we want to cover those up like so, so it looks like a proper water tank here that's got some detail on here. And what else did I just get? I got the chest, of course. Where would the chest go? Maybe, hmm, where would the chest go? Can I quickly switch that up? Throw that. And, oh, it won't let me place that in there. That's kind of... Interesting. We're gonna have to go with the good old-fashioned redstone block then unfortunately, but there we go We got a nice supplies chest on the back I think we should break inside here and at least put a little bit of red around that 
and underneath it, of course. Let's mimic that over that side. And then let's patch this back in. And the reason why I just did that is because you can see past the chests. I think that's looking pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to leave it as that, guys. There's so many things you can do to this design to improve it. Um, like I've done by here, I've actually put stairs by here. We can do that as well just before we go. Like that. And then you can obviously do something similar like this too. It's totally up to you, but as long as you've got the basic fundamental shape to it, I think it's pretty fitting. Um, something else, we may be able to put um, something like... If we take this down a little bit and do that... So we've got some sort of uh, um, exhaust going on here, probably at the back on a fire engine, but it looks nice. We've kind of got a cab design going on here. Anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, there's going to be plenty more builds to come. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments, of course. Um, they are really, really going to help me out. Um, coming towards Christmas, I'm going to do some more Christmas theme stuff. I know the Santa Claus... Um, sledge um it's debatable whether it looks like one or not so there we go and we're gonna call this the santa no it's nothing to do with santa claus we're gonna call it the the block fire one one zero two one zero zero one two one block fire it's pretty cool pretty cool did I put any other details on here? No, I just put signs at the back here as well. I just double check in. This design is always different, and that's kind of cool. That's that's the way you should go. It should never, you should never have a fitting design. It should always change. Always fit the situation. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay on top of the content. It saves you from searching me down again in the future. And um, on that note. Look, I'm still doing more more stuff to it. It's crazy. You can keep adding and adding. Anyway, on that note, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you tune in next time, and peace out.